I'm Nancy Blakey and I'm co-owner of Snowpack with my husband Greg. It was started 30 years ago by Greg and his father and our kids have grown up in the fishing industry. Our three boys uh, fish for us, our daughter is vice president of the company, definitely a family run business. We process millions of pounds of sockeye salmon every year. We hire over 500 people for the Bristol Bay season, every season. And we spend $3 million on um, food, fiber, and fuel. And this is for one industry, we're mid-sized, so you can take the larger companies that have year-round fisheries, it's significantly more um, in terms of uh, economics, the impact that uh, the seafood industry has um, in the state of Washington and in the entire region. I was shocked when I found out about the pebble mine. It just sounded uh, so monstrous and so huge. I thought it was an exaggeration. It's my understanding it's 10 billion tons of toxic waste that has to be contained in perpetuity, forever. Not just one or two generations, but forever. Even trace elements of arsenic, of copper, it kills them. I mean, they, they need clean water. I mean, that's why it's an abundant fishery, because it's some of the cleanest, coldest water in the world for this fishery. So you put this huge tailings reservoir that can't contain everything. I don't see how it could help but contaminate the waters. And then you've destroyed centuries worth of a resource, not just economically, but these are families, the people who live there, people in the Northwest region who've relied on this resource and it's just taking it away for 60 years worth of war. I would really like to ask President Obama and our political representatives to support the EPA on their scientific findings. Um, I think that it's fair to say that everybody can rely on science to be unbiased. And if the science doesn't support it, it is the wrong mind in the wrong place.